lot of people are about to experience the coldest Christmas in decades, including the Hampton Roads area and Virginia. And as this historic cold front is about to send a big part of the United States into record-breaking freezing temperatures, on top of that, there will be a massive storm that will intercept some cold air just at the right time that will bring some a lot of snow to some and to others some rain sadly and then um, as of right now we're not exactly certain of how strong this cold air will be but GFS and European miles are showing a wall of cold air that will move into Virginia and the Hampton Roads area around Christmas Eve and now let's look at the massive storm that I was showing before in a short I uploaded a couple days ago that was showing or bringing Virginia and the Hampton Roads area a lot of buttload of snow well here's what well there has been some big changes in the models and I'm about to show y'all what um, the models are showing as of right now and there will be some changes again since it's five days are out or so get right to that um, this is the European model but hold up wait a minute where's all the snow why do I only see rain as of right now showing on here well these are some big changes like I said that has happened in the models that um, will have changed and could change again maybe like I said so this is European model this is uh, as of Thursday the 22nd December 22nd around 1 p.m. as you can see heavy rain and maybe a mix of precipitation in the Appalachians of Virginia and West Virginia Maryland and Pennsylvania maybe New York State I can see some heavy rain that will be about to be moving into Virginia in the Hampton Roads area as time goes by by Friday evening or excuse me Thursday evening of the 22nd There'll be heavy rain moving into gosh darn it, North Carolina, excuse me, in Virginia, in the Hampton Roads area. As a low, that will be moving over the Hampton Roads area and skyrocketing north. With the main system back here, with the low near the Great Lakes, and here's the big wall of cold air behind it that's bringing some snow, like I said, to some and some rain to others like the Hampton Roads area sadly and then they'll eventually just bring tons of cold air into Virginia the Hampton Roads area and other parts of the United States eastern United States and central United States and southern United States but then sadly the west is gonna have a ridge which will bring a big warm up for them the reason why um, it's not gonna snow for the Hampton Roads area in Virginia it's gonna be just all rain besides well, mainly because the cold air doesn't come quick enough for a while. There's precipitation still in the area. The cold air doesn't come quick enough for it to change over the snow. Instead, it's behind it. So then all the we get mild air ahead of the this massive cold air wall of cold air. That'll just be just all basically rain in all the areas that is able to get cold air in time for some of the precipitation that's still left will change over to snow that's basically why I said some may get some snow and some get, will get some rain sadly as you can see a mild 50 low 50 degrees in the Hampton Roads area and then in the mountains like I said could get a little bit of a mix of rain and snow at the beginning but then it'll transition over quickly over to rain as the low moves in this direction which will bring some mild temperatures into North Carolina and Virginia which will cause rain and then as the bulging um, mass of cold air moves in starts to move in this is by um, Friday morning of the 23rd as you can see a massive wall of cold air that's about to punch into the Hampton Roads area in Virginia by then or about to like I said it's mild Part of Virginia. Then the other tip of the Virginia, it's like feels like in the negatives, which is crazy. Like look at this, 55, 56. What the temperatures feel like according to European 
in the Hampton Roads area, and then the far western parts of Virginia, negative one degrees, that's a big difference, people. Massive wall of air, cold air that's about to take over Virginia in the Hampton Roads area. Okay, so this is by the t evening of the 23rd, and then it feels like 21 late like by the next six to twelve hours which is crazy and then tons of negative numbers popping up very massive and then temperatures feeling like the double dit single digits excuse me with temperatures in the teens this is christmas eve morning my people and, um christmas eve day is supposed to feel like 18 degrees with highs in the upper 20s it's gonna be crazy temperature difference the coldest Christmas in decades for Eastern United States and the United States alone. And then Christmas Day feels like 18 degrees again with highs in the upper 20s, maybe low 30s, hovering around freezing. It's going to be cold as crap, basically. And then with that, the storm will be bringing some strong winds. This is, court, this is for the European gusts up to 50 miles per hour that the storm would be bringing as the cold air comes in behind it and then the GFS look at the GFS even stronger winds gusts up to at least 60 miles per hour so it's gonna be a crazy day the 23rd for the Hampton Roads area in Virginia basically in other parts of the United States as they get this cold air and winds and snow and rain before we they get to us before the storm gets to us excuse me So yeah, guys, this is basically all I have to say in this video. Um, make sure you subscribe if you want more videos like this. Like this video and share this video to others to get the word out. I have another update on y'all for y'all in this video soon again. Um, and I'll obviously we'll have a Christmas, Christmas and Christmas Eve forecast, official forecast soon. And then I have an official forecast on the storm in the next coming coming days very soon and i hope y'all stay in tune for that and that this is severe weather forecaster guy signing out and i hope y'all have a great rest of your day and i'll talk to y'all soon in the next video bye